Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Well, I read all of your comments. All of them. These are not the droids you're looking for. I read all of them. And it seems to be this theme that if you invite somebody to dinner, movie, dancing, an outing that cost money, you, the invitor, should pay for the invitee. I've never done that. Or or let me say I have done that. I've I've invited friends to movies, but I, I expected them to pay their own way. And, uh, of course, they poor mouth and said, uh, <laughs> And so, uh, for a time, uh, I uh, uh, paid for my friends. Uh, and anything that we did, I was the one to pay. Because I was the one with money. We're talking about when I came back to America. Uh, overseas where we are all in the same sort of boat uh, we're all uh, diplomats children uh, everybody paid for themselves or uh, there was not really outings we just went to their houses which was catered uh, uh, chef events anyway so there was no there was no idea of uh, having to pay for something individually you you either paid for the entire party or 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 not right you 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 know, right so I have a story for you I have a couple of stories I have a story for you a woman invites a poor college guy to dinner he orders water and ramen noodle because he's a poor college guy and she orders lobster champagne steak a surf and turf oh uh potatoes au gratin uh with a little bit of uh, basil sauce uh, and uh <laughs> and and uh, she ordered appetizers and she ordered desserts and she ordered uh, i mean she just she, she was just she was just uh, over, uh, overflowing with it. And when the bill comes, comes, it comes to $300. Uh, to which she then turns to him and says, you're going to pay for it, right? And he, of course, he goes, of course not. I had soup. I'm a poor college student. I cannot pay for that because I don't have three hundred dollars uh, in existence. Uh, to which she then paid for paid for her dinner. Her dinner. She didn't pay for his. She paid for her dinner, which was two hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, so later. Uh, he texts her, Hi, would you like to go to dinner? And uh, to which she then uh, gives him a blistering curse word laden text message, uh, at least uh, five or six or seven uh, messages long. Uh, and, and, and he said, uh, and he said, he replied with, uh, which of course I won't repeat, I don't curse in real life. I don't curse at all. Uh, to which he replied, you're lucky I didn't make you pay for my dinner. You invited me to dinner. How does it look that you invite me to dinner and then force me to pay for your dinner? That's not an invitation. So, ladies, I'm asking you, uh, does it actually apply that whoever invites whomever to dinner that the person inviting the other person should pay for I don't believe in that at all I, I've now of course 
grown out of this American custom to f to force the person with the money to pay for dinner. Uh, 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 if if I invite you to accompany me to do, people should be paying for my presence. That's literally how I feel uh, because uh, they're going to have a fantastic time, and I'm going to suggest all of the wonderful places for us to go, and they're not expensive. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a frugal uh, person, so uh, I I don't believe in the just throwing away money to begin with. So you're going to have a fantastic time uh, uh, for 90 cents, maybe 99 if we're really push it. Uh, but uh, I no longer, I grew out of that, uh, the rich people should pay for the poor, so therefore my friends are poor, so I should pay for my friends to go watch uh, Spider-Man or whatever with me. No, I'm not inviting you to, to, uh, be your uh, benefactor. I'm inviting you because friends, that's what friends do. Hey, you want to go see Star Wars? Yes, let's go see Star Wars. And everybody pays for their own ticket to go see Star Wars. I'm providing the gas, the car, when I did drive. And I bought, I literally bought a van to, to make sure that I had enough room to take all of my friends with how I mean how ridiculous was my mindset that was my mindset I, I would buy place settings and a, and a huge table to make sure and 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 China and stemware and silverware uh, simply to make sure that I had a, a very good impression for my friend I'm a single guy never been married haven't had a girlfriend in years but I, but I'm buying, but I, my, my house did look like Better Homes and Garden. Uh, of course, I uh, let my mother tell it. My house always looked like like this. So, uh, but that was not the case. I had a pristine house. I would work full time, come home, uh, cook from scratch, uh, wash all the dishes, uh, make everything spick and span. It looked literally like a model home uh, the entire time that I lived there and nobody came over, nobody dropped by unannounced, no, never happened. I literally le left the blinds slightly open uh, so people could see my lovely place setting and, and see my lovely clean, clean kitchen because that's all you could see with my blinds slightly open in the front room, no less, the, the front room. Uh, so uh, the, the woman cursed the guy out uh, and he said, uh, well, I was actually feeling sorry uh, that you had to pay for your dinner, and I was literally inviting you out to treat you to dinner, to which she refused. So, there, there you, there we have it. Second story. Uh, this is Nike. Uh, so Nike uh, had a problem, uh, and this is all concerning that whole Me Too thing, and this is a real world thing. So Nike had a problem, and, and, and nobody really gives you all of the factors and all of the details. I don't know if you heard that Nike and, and, uh, lost uh, like 10% of their upper management, just completely checked out and left. Uh, so what was that about? Well, uh, there was a memo that was, not a memo, a questionnaire that was circulated by the women folk in Nike. Uh, talking about uh, ha have you been mistreated? Uh, have you been passed over for for uh, for promotions? Uh, do, do, are you left out of conversations uh, with upper management? Uh, well, uh, there were so many women who were complaining and complaining, all, and and so then uh, th this is the uh, New York Times writing this up. Uh, by, a, uh, by a woman and two guys, no less, uh, wrote this uh, very long article, uh, ex quote unquote, exposing this. People, people now expose the secrets and expose uh, corporate, uh, corporate shenanigans 
uh, in, in behind the scenes uh, in the in the media because journalists are so great well this this uh, article of course was so lopsided that uh, you could tell that a woman wrote it right <laughs> so uh, the uh, they made all sorts of allegations and uh, oh no, no and the guy uh, uh, did this and he um, any he uh, forced his way into the bathroom to uh, try and kiss me. What? That that seems implausible on any level. That does that does that just sounds completely ridiculous. He forced his way into the the girl's bathroom just to kiss you. He could have just waited like ten seconds, right? If he's gonna really force his force his way to kiss you, uh, well. Uh, and one woman said, I, I, I worked there for five years, uh, and was never promoted. Upper management has been working there for 20, 30 years. If, if we're, if we're going to throw out the five years, let's throw out the years. Let's, uh, let's talk about years of service and work at the company. Uh, upper and uh, middle management have, has been working there for 20, 30 years each one boom 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 go down the line uh, also uh, a lot of the upper uh, and middle management were recruited from upper and middle management from other companies so literally they sniped somebody else's manager to come work with I just got a I just got an email asking me to be a manager of something and I was like oh thank you that, that's very nice of you uh, uh, how did you get my email? We saw your resume. Where did you see my resume? I want to know this. Anyway, that's that's another story. So uh, I wanted to point out to the New York Times uh, that, first of all, let's talk about this. Let's talk about years of service and years of work. Uh, are we talking about women who have just came out of college, were hired, uh, and it has been working for the company for five years wanting to be managers wanting to be COO CFOs uh, and then they said that there was this whole culture of friends of kin that was one of their terms friends of kin so the, anybody who was a friend of kin uh, uh, got special treatment or special privileges well uh, they, they specifically cited a case where one of the managers said, uh, Ken has uh, uh, said that I'm uh, fast-tracked to uh, go to upper management. Now, are there any military people out there listening to me? Uh, there are, when you join the military, people who, uh, for officers, I was, I was in the uh, Air Force ROTC, so uh, th this was made known to me. There are uh, people who go into officership, who are commissioned officers, uh, who did their job. Officer, being an officer in the military, right? And then there was people who go into, uh, get their commission to be officer in the military, who are fast-tracked to go to Fulberg Colonel. And that's the thing. So then, uh, for all of you layman people, there are people who are brilliant and work hard and kiss butt, uh, who, who uh, do stuff to make absolutely sure that they are fast-tracked to partner, fast-tracked to senior management, fast-tracked to, you know, uh, you know the corner office, uh, it, uh, the uh, upper office uh, bathroom and all that, all that sort of stuff. It's a thing. So then, for the New York Times to then say, "Ah, oh, this this manager says that Ken told him he's fast tracked to be upper management. Oh, that's just, that's just privilege. No, that's 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 a thing. He has picked him and said, "You're go you're going places, son." You're going places there, buckaroo. I got my eye on you. I'm looking at everything that you do. 
Now, now the pressure's on. Now the pressure's on. And you know, people who say, who think that they're faster or who are fast track, and, and then when it comes time to for their evaluation, they don't make the grade. The pressure is on. It's not off. There's no privilege. He didn't say, "Hey, I'm gonna. We're gonna give you a, a senior management position for free, just cause." The the way you all write these articles, it's so lopsided and it's so female oriented, and and every everything everybody's the victim. Oh, he said he was fast tracked for a senior management. <laughs> Can you imagine him saying that to me? Yeah, you're his secretary. If he doesn't tell you, who is he supposed to tell? His wife? <laughs> she she doesn't care, or she cares, but I mean, uh, she's uh, she's gonna be Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Yay, my baby's fast tracked for. Senior management, more money. When when do I divorce you? <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous, and and the, and the article is just so one sided. Here's the problem that you completely missed. They circulated a questionnaire amongst women at the company. Amongst unqualified women who were not qualified to be managers and even less senior managers. Talking about stuff that HR actually investigated and found no evidence. They went to HR. They made the allegations. They made the claims. HR investigated and found no evidence to corroborate their story. And one lady said, and, and and I went to them and they wanted to discuss it in the cafeteria. Okay, um, right, because uh, uh, apparently uh, uh, you probably, no, no, you then probably, we already know, you. it's already said in the article. You went around telling everybody uh, these allegations, so... So we wanted to make sure that if you're one of those kind of ladies, that you make sure we sit right in the cafeteria in the middle of a thousand people to make sure everybody sees everything so that you don't make an allegation with the HR rep. Oh, you didn't think about that, New York Times? You didn't think about that? You didn't You didn't think about calling her on that and saying, hey, hey, hey you know, everything's open door these days with women. Everything's open doors. We can't be behind behind closed. No, there is no there is no trust in secret of privacy. No, 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 no. That's all. That that went out the door. As soon as you said that Me Too stuff, that went out the door. As soon as soon as these allegations start popping up and proving that they were false, It, you all didn't ruin Ryan Seacrest. He said, no, that's false. That's false. And when they investigated, oh, it turns out it was false. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that only happens 1% of the time. You're, you're a, you're a bald-faced lie. False allegations have skyrocketed. I have my own sources. Uh, so, New York Times, please, if you're going to write an article, you, you can uh, add a little bit of journalism to it. I'm more journalist than you are. And I'm published in CNN. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if that lends to my credibility or takes away from my credibility. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, don't don't write these lopsided things. All, all you're doing, it, it, it doesn't even work. Uh, Nike is an upstanding uh, corporation. It's, I mean, it's a corporation. If you don't trust corporations, you're never, you're not going to trust them either way. They're not going to click on your article anyway. Uh, and for and try and uh, try and uh, uh, make women victims of everything. They're not qualified. They're not in management because they're not qualified. Funny story is, you alluded to that there were. 
older women in management positions at Nike, the head of the vision of, uh, of, of expanding the women's division is who's the head of it is a woman. But you backed away from her saying, I don't see anything. I don't see any sort of culture of this and that and the other. I don't see it at all. And I have uh, middle management women under me. It's the fastest growing division in Nike. Why? Because we are pushing for women to go into sports. We're pushing for it. So it is the fastest increasing division at Nike. And we have something called competition by Adidas and all these other people, right? We got competition, ladies. It's it's a competition. It, it's it's not a it's not a uh, charity event, you know. The head of the women's division, uh, the fastest growing division at Nike is the women's division, headed by a woman, and all of the older women who have been there for years, who have been there for decades, not just five years, sweetheart for decades uh, said that there is no problem. She has not seen this. She has not experienced this. She works at night. She's, she's been working at Nike's and all of the other older women uh, under her. Uh, nope. Haven't seen that. But upon these uh, allegations and this, uh, this uh, questionnaire, uh, so Ken, Ken left and he took his Friends of Ken with him. Is Nike better for it or worse for it? Of course, Nike, of course, takes the corporate position. Uh, we we will not tolerate any misconduct, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. They're not admitting to anything. They're simply trying to appease these women who think that any sort of allegation must be true. Oh, they're, oh and, and even to the point where, oh, where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, well, they said that to Ryan Seacrest. He says, in this case, is not true. There's not even smoke. There's smoke, all right. There's smoke and mirrors. That's the smoke. And I'm telling you, that's the way everything is going on right now. Uh, so Nike, they weren't fired, they left, uh, and uh, they lost talented people. Talented, that guy, Ken, black guy by the way, sn sn they sniped him from the UK. <laughs> so he comes over here, buys a mansion, buys land, all this sort of stuff, because uh, uh, he's a talented guy. They sniped him from the UK. Hmm. Well, well, you, you think you won? No, all you did was, uh, uh, ru first of all, probably ruin your uh, entire division of uh, women's uh, women's uh, apparel at uh, Nike, uh, and and ruin uh, all of those women working in that division, uh, which the president, uh, I think, even the CEO stepped down or something like that. I mean, it was just, it was just. Horror upon horror, and it's all public relations. Has nothing to do with the law. Has nothing to do with allegations. Uh, human resources. Uh, they investigated each and everything. Found zero evidence. Zero evidence. No. Well, I said it. I I said that it happened. It it, it must be true. Zero evidence. They found zero evidence. Sorry. Sorry. And it's not as not. It's not. It's not a woman. Oh heading a human resources so then you're going to say well it was a man heading human resources so it must not be true it must not be the case uh because human resources is all about no human resources literally reports in the story it reports directly to the president of the company president and ceo are two different people uh so i think the ceo stepped down not the president uh one of the two one of the two. Uh, and there you have it. There is a story about Nike and uh, the women in the corporate board and the men stepping down. Uh, yeah, you got some men to step down. That's that's that, that's what you accomplished. Uh, 
they didn't. These people are making millions of dollars. They're, they're, they're not hurting. You you in no way hurt them. Uh, they're probably going to go end up uh, being CEOs now of some some other company because they were at the upper management of Nike. Do you think people are going to let them just just let them just chill out by themselves? Oh no 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 no! They're going to be a uh, hey, can, can, would you like twenty million dollars to come work for us? Leave your comment below. Thank you all for watching. Uh, and if you want to donate to keep the channel going, please donate at paypal.me slash shikama. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you everybody who donated the other day. Uh, and um, uh, just like all the other channels who ask for uh, viewer support, if you have to give it, give it. If you don't, please don't say it. Why are you begging? You should just go get a, a new job, another job, get a real job. So if you have a dollar or 50 cents, you can donate at paypal.me slash Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of y'all.